fucking stock made 380, right, but it didn't feel like this. Oh, this fucking cool. <laughs> I bet you're not. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>up guys welcome to the channel uh, we've already got a few videos already but we're finally biting the bullet and we're gonna start the vlog style so let's go ahead and head into the shop and see what we got what we got going on today oh you know just playing some clash royale oh yeah you know normal operation yeah and i was like I literally texted him, I said, why would I have What we got going on today? Oh, you know, setting up the rear suspension so we can use a little better launches. Oh. Yeah. We gotta knock the collar loose, loosen up the spring a bit so that way we can get a good squat out of it. Get a solid leave. You like the squat? Uh, oh. Oh, look at the extension. Is that the answer you look for? That was exactly what I was looking for. What we got today, Evan? Oh, what just we got, a little bit got? of light cap, you know? <laughs> a little bit of light cap. Always some light cap. Yep. So we got a uh, 11 Camaro SS with a blueprint long block engine. Uh, what did it make on the dyno? 452. 452. Um, the uh, slave broke on it, we think. We're still doing diag. But... Gotta get this shifter John out of here. Oh, yeah, you know, normal stuff. But this is pretty rowdy car. Sounds great. This one though, this one's fast. Fast. So, yep, setting up drag suspension on it. Get the slicks on. Um, got upgraded turbos and uh, what else does this thing have? Uh, All-wheel drive controller. All-wheel drive controller, uh, built rear end. Uh, new axles are stock style axles. There's not really much in the market right now for uh, upgraded axles. So we're gonna send these axles out to the drive, sha drive shaft shop get them uh, built we can do launches but he's still stock trans um ams cars is on stock trans it's still surviving so uh, stock engine bigger turbos full fuel system e85 full nine yards um built ready to go uh, ready to do some launches just put a fresh drag pack on it um so we have slicks in the rear and then pilot super sport or pilot 4s's in the front um so we'll have a little bit of give in the front and now we're setting our squat so we can leave pretty hard and yeah this car is gonna be real fast what, uh, what are we trying to run here on the strip I mean, I would like to see a, either a really, really low 10 or a really high 9. Um, it's optimistic, but it's possible. I think it's so possible. I definitely think a low 10 is pretty much as it's set up right now. Uh, but when you get our suspension dialed in, I think we can start squeezing out a very high 9. Um, I think the car needs a little bit of love in the tuning department before we get there, but I mean, it's possible. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. found out a minor issue with our fun Camaro here. That uh, oh, was no. brand new when it left. Oh, I don't know. Two days ago? And how do you hit it backwards? What? Meaning you were driving over something. What? And you flattened threads. I don't understand. What? You need to be aware of how low your car is now. What? Oh, look. You scraped the entire exhaust. How? No. Bro, I'm glad I made this. <laughs> yeah. Good Lord, I'm glad I made that. Right now. Look, it hit here. Mm. It hit all the way here. Took those out. Hit the heat shield somehow. Oh, look. It shoved the heat shield. You know shield what's out. great is this car is not even that low. No. This is uh, so. about an inch lower than factory height. Oh, my God. All right, I have a book. So you think I should upgrade my P.E.K.K.A. because I got him level 9. Oh, bro, P.E.K.K.A. all day. Come on. P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K. level 10? P.E.K.K.A. level 10 is ridiculous. Big. Oh, I'm broke. You know, we got the same, same, but different. Which which one you like it more? You, you liking the M3s more? 
you know, we got the red M3, we got we got this M3, and we got two black C63s. I'm a BMW guy. That red M3 is hot. What, what are we thinking is Megan? What are we thinking? 415. 415? 420. 420? Oh, you like 420? 420. 420. I'm going to go low. 410. I'm going to guess 411. 411? 411. 411. I think I'm at 411. We'll, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. What you mean that's good? So, so we're not happy with those numbers. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not. We're not. We gotta get faster. We gotta get faster. What he's saying is he's are gonna. Are you telling me a dyno makes you sad? No, not really. Did it break your heart? <laughs> yeah, it kind of. This car did. Uh, <laughs> he needs to go E85 and, he uh, and headers, huh? Yeah. To make more power. Taking the old drive shaft out. Yes, sir. Got the exhaust off. Yeah, How big of a rest. pain was that? Oh, well, you know, with it being all bent up, it just comes right apart. You know? Oh, really simple totally, and easy, you totally know. Don't need an air hammer or anything of that sort. Yeah, no, you, no, no, you didn't need any of that. No. It, it came off simply. Well, no, it, it came off as designed. You loosen the bolts and it just falls right out. And that's the way it's supposed to work. Well, that's the way the engineers designed it. Uh huh. You know, because engineers love mechanics. Mm. That's right. We have to fully repin all of this stuff and I'm going to put it into these guys. Um, so we'll still have the full, full usability of any normal connectors, still waterproof and all that. Uh, we'll have to go back through and, and do some repairs though. But and here's the new connector all in place. All weatherproof and ready to rip. I love fixing other people's wiring mistakes. Mm. It's really my favorite thing to do. Well, Evan's having a little issue over here with the crusty Camaro uh -huh. and uh, the uh, drive shaft doesn't want to come out. Yeah. Normal operation. Well, so you know, whenever rubber and metal and metal and metal are touching science right good luck oh i'm gonna need it and what broke here uh the throttle bearing yeah so um according to the interwebs there is a common problem where this plastic ring here that justin's got in his hand will fail and it basically slips off this collar which as we can see is what happened it engages the the clutch the whole time yeah so basically the clutch was always engaged so there was no actual physical connection so we'll set those pieces there for later i don't need that and uh we'll reconvene whenever we get a new one to Mexico successfully, off we go. Decent. Did you squat pretty good? Squat's pretty decent. If you made it this far into the video, it means you liked it. So be sure to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. 
Um, if there's anything we can do different, leave it down in the comments. We want to hear from you. Um, we're going to try to keep pumping these out two to three times a week, um, if you guys like it, of course. Um, and as always, all of our information, social media, and everything like that is going to be down in the description below. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.